today we will learn about hundreds and thousands rahul saw a fruit seller selling fruits after seeing the fresh apples he was selling rahul was tempted to buy he asked the seller about the price of the apples the fruit seller said it was 55 rupees per kg if rahul buys half a kg of apples then how much money would he have to pay the fruit seller think for a while you got it right since rahul is buying half a kg of apples he has to pay half the price for 1 kg that is 27 rupees and 50 paise how do we express this in rupees to express this in rupees you need to know about tens hundreds and thousands let us understand this in an interesting way this is 1 rupee do you know how many paisa makes 1 rupee 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise let's assume one whole square represents 1 rupee if we divide the square into 10 equal parts then each part will have 1 tenths if we divide each of the tenths part into 10 equal parts then we will get a total of 100 equal parts now we can say that one whole square is equal to 100 parts that means 1 rupee is equal to 100 paisa if we talk about one part this will be the 100th part of a whole square that means one paisa is a 100th part of 1 rupee this is a fraction whose numerator is 1 and the denominator is 100 a fraction with denominator 100 can be written in decimal form 100s can be written like this we read it as 0.01 here there are two places after the decimal point the first place to the right of decimal point is tens and the second place to the right is hundreds as you can see that the tenth part of a whole number is 1 tenth similarly a tenth part of 1 tenth is 1 hundredths what do you understand from this think for a while let me tell you as we move from left to right the value of each place is 1 by 10 times of its previous place let us solve the incomplete question with this understanding the question was how do we express 27 rupees 50 paise in rupees since 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise 1 paise is equal to 1 by 100 rupee therefore 50 paisa is equal to rupees 0.50 thus rupees 27 and 0.50 rupee together become rupees 27.50 just think if we divide each part of 100 parts into 10 equal parts then how many parts will there be in total think for a while you got it right one part contains 10 parts so 100 parts contain 100 into 10 which is equal to 1000 parts if we take one part from these 1000 parts then that part will become 1000th part of the whole square we will express it like this and we read it as 0.001 therefore the third place to the right of the decimal point is 1000th There is a number here. Can you read this? Try and read it. You might have read it correctly. We will read it as 125.378. To the left side of the decimal point is a whole number. To represent it, we will use places like units, tens, hundreds and thousands. similarly to the right side of the decimal point a part of the whole is expressed to represent it we will use places like tens hundreds thousands etc if we move from right to left the value of each place increases by 10 times of its previous place so we will keep on multiplying with 10 in this direction similarly if we move from left to right 
the value of each place decreases by one tenth from its previous value. So we will keep on dividing with ten in this direction. So what is the difference between one hundredths and one thousandths? Think for a while. Let me tell you. One thousandths is the tenth part of one hundredths. That means one thousandths is ten times smaller than one hundredths. Today we have learned about hundredths and thousandths. In the next video, we will learn about conversion of fraction into decimal and vice versa. Thank you.